I made a video a while back about playing the fool, <clears throat> which I essentially equate to a, a brightness in life, a childish exuberance, a desire to make others laugh and to partake in laughter in general. And I find it very difficult sometimes to get into that state of mind because it is essentially a state of play. As we get older, as we change our circumstances and learn more in life, it becomes harder and harder to stop taking ourselves so seriously. And <laughs> me particularly, especially if I'm doing a little bit of drinking, I will have a part of me that will tell the truth a lot more viscerally, a lot more sharply than when I'm sober. And so much so that my friends made a nickname for me, Barut, when, when I was when I was drunk in my college days. And it's always something that's that I have been told by wiser people, told by people that love me, is something I should watch. Because though perhaps my realizations about life come fast and feel make me feel like I'm drowning sometimes in in uh, whatever conclusion I'm getting to, there is so much power in giving people comfort. There is so much power in giving people something sweet in life, something funny to listen to, something uh, inspiring that reminds us of our child selves. My name is Tarab. I talk about emotional intelligence every day. Please drop by if you're ever interested in these types of things. Today I'm going to talk about... Well, I'm just going to continue on this tangent, really. But there is... That is an art form, my friend. Not taking yourself seriously is an art form. Seriously. <laughs> uh, because, like anything else that seems complicated, it's actually a series of learned characteristics. It's a series of learned behaviors that will allow you to dwell more deeply in those childish exuberances, happy, euphoric moments. And the formula goes something like this. The formula is... Take where you're at, your emotional state right now, smile. Then say to yourself, this is temporary. So take your emotional state where you're at, smile. This is temporary. Okay? That's the first thing. The second thing is, do you want to make yourself feel good? Or do you want to make other people feel good in this moment? Are you... Are you attempting to put on a facade, essentially, or are you being the genuine article? Oftentimes, when we put on the facade, when we fake it, we will make it. Oftentimes, when we start laughing, and when we start coming up with things to uh, brush off, things that shouldn't affect us and, won't, and we won't let affect us, oftentimes that will fluctuate our state of mind and make it so that we can, once again, laugh, learn, listen with an excitement about us. This charisma, this kind of um, ability to put people at ease, to put ourselves at ease, to alter our, our, our state of mind, it's incredibly useful. I mean, it's like, it's, like, it's like the difference between feeling like you're stuck in a victim and literally doing whatever the hell you want in your life. I remember there was time, there's, been, there's been times in my life where I've been very heartbroken. I'm sure you've lived the life that I assume you've lived. You've gone through something similar. And if you haven't, well, I hope you do. I hope it, it doesn't break too easily, but I hope it happens. It gives us some good perspective, some things to think about. But basically, I realized that as soon as I start concentrating on things other than what I'm thinking... If I start concentrating on the trees, if I start concentrating on maybe the emotionality of someone across the street, and I do it with a hint of pleasure, joy, that I can fundamentally change the way that I'm perceiving my situation. Which the perception to me is something that matters a lot more than what may be factually going on. Which is why I'm making this video. Because having that ability to, and say, listen, laugh a little, 
Listen a little. Think happy thoughts. Sunshine. Look up. Great gratitude. It can really affect the way that we communicate. It can really affect the way that we influence people. Or that the universe, or the, if we allow the universe to influence us. So earlier today, I made a video for about <laughs> 20 minutes and it got deleted twice, which is hilarious. It's a really bad state of mind. You know, I was like, oh, I'm wasting all this time. I'm doing all this shit. And I knew that I was in that state of mind because I had some missions for the day and I was being sidetracked. Now, this happens to us a lot. Well, this can happen to us a lot if we don't set aside the time to schedule, to segment, to care about our lives. And I think a lot of us don't see that our discontentment, our lack of satisfaction is coming from essentially not doing something about things that we have complete control of. Something that we have complete control over after some mental mastering or at least attempting to pursue these exercises is the ability to change your mindset. The ability to turn off some of those thoughts to say to ourselves, yo, chill, man. Woman, them. It's not that big of a deal. And so I've I've spent a lot of time in life trying to understand where the depth of my personality, the the different facets that make me up. Because I like the the ability to kind of come in and out of these things and use them as as they see as they're needed. Every situation in life will call for a different part of you, oftentimes. My belief is that at some point I will get to a, a state where it is un unanimously applicable. And this kind of joyful exuberance, this kind of spiritual thing, this uh, peaceful acclamation, this I think is universally applicable. I am no, by no means a master of this. In fact, the reason I started off the video talking about how I, I some, sometimes being very segmented, sometimes being very pointed, is, is to indicate to you that it is difficult to control and that I do not necessarily have control over this all the time. But I believe starting to think about these things, putting it onto video, writing it down in our journals, whatever it is, is a step to changing that or to augmenting it, making it a little bit more manipulatable that's a word a lot of these are really just thought journals for me and though I don't often go back and watch them saying the thoughts out loud thinking about the thoughts afterwards it's part of me building up my own own emotional intelligence because I can't always have these conversations with people and oftentimes though this might seem like a monologue there are questions going back and forth inside. If you struggle with the the complexity of your thoughts, if you struggle with sometimes being able to turn these thoughts off or to guide them to make yourself feel better or to alter your perspective, your state of mind, then I would recommend that you try to do the opposites, the contrast training that I've talked about past in the past which is letting go of control and then seizing control altogether. The contrast will give you the ability to know where you stand and what you're capable of. It's almost like a continuum of, of you in that moment and being aware that given certain injections, given certain uh, habits, that we can change, that we can that we can fall in, in any of any part of that spectrum that we want in that moment. This is complex, advanced, I suppose. I I don't have the right words really even to talk about it, but it's something that's been fascinating to me for many many years, and I think it's something that a lot of people go through in life. And I think it's the reason that we stand behind people that are outspoken and kind of dark in some ways, or outspoken and really really light in some ways. Because we ourselves see that we have that as part of our spectrum, 
but a lot of us do not spend the time to go and actually dwell in those states of mind to actually bring that into our our data pool a lot to think about a lot of words hopefully they make some sense i'm still parsing through it myself but try to be happy about it really this life try it you know i say this thing all the time surround yourself with people that feel like sunshine sunshine attracts sunshine my friend you know there's uh the world see the world will always mimic the way that we feel inside the key is to notice that when we're feeling things that are not necessarily irrational but things that we don't want to feel envy sadness um, a lack of attention perhaps a lack of being present we have control of our ability to do these things genuinely contrast training i think is a good framework to kind of go about parsing some of these things out but really do as i do maybe use whatever journaling form you have to record your thoughts to to put it out into the universe and see what it brings you if you have a second check out this video it talks partially about this contrast. I'll find one that's that's particularly pertaining to this. This is a unique one in Toronto. But smash that thumbs up. Smash that like button. Which is the same as a thumbs up button. And subscribe. Hopefully this helps you in any capacity. Actualize your potential catalyst. This world needs you. Take care.